With the new release of Undead Legacy tentatively slated for December, I thought what better time to jump into the old version and remind ourselves what made it so special. Naturally, this brought on a flood of questions. How do I even get this to work? Don't worry, I'll show you in two quick and easy methods. Step one, we're gonna wanna roll back seven days to die. No matter which method you choose, the first thing you'll wanna do is this. Open Steam, go to your library, right click seven days to die. Select properties, click on betas, then change the version to alpha 20.7. Once it's done downloading, go to install files and click browse. This opens the folder for the version you just installed. Now a little helpful tip is I would go ahead and copy that folder right there. You don't have to, but I would copy it. This will make a copied version and once it's copied, you can rename this to say seven days to die undead legacy so it's easy to tell apart now step two is to get undead legacy so the easiest way about this is to head to google search subquake undead legacy click on that first link it'll take you to subquake's official site and on the left hand side you'll hit downloads now you have two paths here method a is the manual download so you'll click the latest file right there and it'll appear in your downloads once it's done click it and extract all. Open the extracted folder and look inside Undead Legacy. Here's where things get a little old school. There's no mods folder like there is nowadays. Instead, you copy and paste the contents of Undead Legacy directly into your 7 Days to Die Undead Legacy folder. After that, boom, you're ready to play. Method B is the mod launcher and maybe the one I suggest and I'll kind of hit on that a little bit more in a second. But on Subquake's site, just below the download link, You'll see the mod launcher. Download and install that. I always recommend creating a desktop shortcut. It just makes life easier. When you open it, and you look on the left hand side, you should see your file. You'll click on that and from there you'll click add overhaul mod. You'll see a list of alpha 20 mods. Scroll down to the bottom until you find undead legacy stable. Hit download, let it finish, then you can press play and done. That's it. Both methods work fine, so it's really up to personal preference. Like I said, if I had to choose one, maybe the mod launcher, because that opens it up to all Alpha 20 mods. So once you complete Undead Legacy, you can jump into another one. But hopefully this guide helps you on your journey back into Undead Legacy. Don't forget to like and sub. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.